Hey, it's Dr. Karen with this week's Hot Topic. Make sure you follow us on social media, like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss another Hot Topic. So today I want to talk to you about ozone therapy. So ozone therapy, just putting this out there, is a controversial alternative medicine practice um, that does use ozone gas to fight particular diseases. Now, ozone gas is a form of oxygen, so it's this colorless gas that's made up of three oxygen atoms. So you have in this upper atmosphere, and then you have a layer of ozone gas that protects the Earth um, from the sun's UV radiation. So that's how most of us think of ozone. And then you have on the ground level that ozone is actually a harmful air pollutant. So that's, of course, as you can see, why this potentially would be a little bit controversial as far as the healthcare um, is concerned. So ozone gas is harmful to people when you inhale it, and it can lead to lung and throat irritation, some coughing, um, or have some potential worsened asthma symptoms. High exposure can lead to lung damage and can actually be fatal, so you want to make sure that you limit yourself there. Um, and ozone therapy actually has been used um, in a couple different ways. So it's really good with treating arthritis, fighting viral diseases such as like HIV and SARS. It's really good for disinfecting wounds. It also is helpful for activating the immune system. Um, you can treat ischemic heart disease um, so like strokes, heart attacks, those type of things, um, treating macular degeneration, and treating cancer. So those are, those are some of the things that they've actually used ozone therapy for. Now there is some research that suggests that the therapy um, fights the disease, including cancer, by kind of this modulating the immune system response and reversing the oxygen deficits in the body. So now that I've kind of talked to you a little bit thus, as of course you can expect how this is a little bit controversial, so how is it actually used? So to use this as medicinally, people can either apply it to their skin, they can use like an ozonated water, they can blow gas in the body, or they can use like an ozone sauna um, where part of the body is bagged and exposed to this ozone gas, so you can be a little bit more focused with it. So because this ozone irritates the airways, it's super important, like I've mentioned before, that people make sure they never actually inhale the gas, so that's when it can be super dangerous or fatal. Um, so some of these procedures, medicinally, a practitioner will actually mix the person's blood with the ozone and re-eject it, so it almost kind of looks like you're donating platelets or something like that. Um, so that process is actually known as autohemotherapy. Now, some with this side effects, it does have that. So um, some of the side effects associated with ozone therapy can really just depend on the type of treatment this person decides to use as far as the therapy is concerned. Um, again, never inhale it. So if you do, if it enters the mouth or the nose or the eyes, it can actually burn and cause coughing, nausea, vomiting, or even headaches. So that's one of the main reasons beyond the fatal part of why you'd never wanna um, ingest that ozone. Um, so more severe exposure can lead to respiratory complications. Um, so sometimes people who undergo this ozone therapy, sometimes they experience these Herxmeyer reactions or a Herx reaction. Um, it's more common with like Lyme disease that you might hear that's Herx reaction. Um, this can make that person feel like they have flu-like symptoms and cause them to feel a little bit worse more in the short term so they're not quite sure if it actually helped them. Um, some ozone therapies actually involve, um, involve blowing the gas into the body. So um, sometimes if a person receives it through the rectum, depending on what they need it for, they can sometimes experience that discomfort, uh, cramping, and uh, that bloating and almost like they feel like they need to pass gas. So most of the time these side effects are pretty temporary. So that's just kind of a general and brief overview of this ozone therapy. Again, it is more of a controversial thing um, medicinally, but they are starting to do a little bit more research about it to show that it actually does have some really cool um, effects to do as far as healthcare is concerned. Um, cancer research is one of them that's starting to show a little bit more positive um, effects. But really the whole big picture is there are some side effects. It works really great. Um, you can't do this by yourself, so you would have to go seek a practitioner out who has this. Um, I know from the animal chiropractic side, um, there is some ozone therapy that they've done with some of the animals and they've had a great result. So I've seen this personally. I think it's a super cool um, technology and procedure that's coming, but um, there definitely are 
are, like I said, some side effects and the research out there uh, is kind of lacking. So just know that this is another option. Um, if you want to go more of a traditional route, this probably would not be it, but um, know that there are some other things for you. So if you're super interested in it, you can definitely do a little bit more research, um, talk to your doctor about it, and uh, hopefully they can give you a little bit alternative. So that's all I have for you guys this week. I will see you guys next time.